here we are guys, the final steps before the end of the game. Let's go! Ah! Here it is. Hey, Parasov, how are you doing? This is it. This is where we set history right again. You stood here with the singularity to open a rift to 1955. Then destroy the reactor with the E99 bomb. Once the singularity is destroyed, the truth of history will be restored. Go on now, Captain. Good luck. I still have my doubts about this. Just saying, I don't think this is works because this seems to be something that bomb would cause, but oh well. Let's just go. Start running, even though that won't help you uh, so much. Anyway, let's do what I do best: blow things up and fuck everything up. Let's go. Uh, wait. I was supposed to get back to my time. Oh, please don't kill me here. See, Barisov, I told you it wouldn't work! <laughs> Have fun on your trip down memory lane, Captain. You look surprised. All that effort to destroy the Singularity when all I had to do was simply rebuild it. Now, give me the TMD. Don't wrinkle. We're missing something, but we can figure it out. We can still set things right. <coughs> Only the victors rewrite the history books. And you lost. Screw you. Only the victors rewrite the history books. That's it. The singularity is not the problem. You went back in time and saved Demichev from being killed in the burning building. Remember? And here's the flashbacks, and here's gonna be a shocking revelation for you all. Which might have been hinted by me. Wait for it. He's what you changed, and he's what you have to change back. You cannot let Demichev live. <coughs> it won't work. You've already tried that and failed. Don't you remember who else was there, Captain? Wait for it. Boom, 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 boom. Ghost Riders, Ghost Rider. Guess who's the Ghost Rider is? Hey, he was us all along. Was you. He's right, Captain. You are the anomaly. Which means the only way to correct the timeline is for you to stop yourself. You mean kill himself? You're asking a man. To sacrifice himself for something you've been mistaken about. How many times now? I'm not sure you're a reliable authority, Beresov. Renko, don't listen to him. You can save the world. So you say. But Captain, think about what you were before all of this. A drone in the hive. I can offer you a whole other life. Things you could only imagine at your fingertips. Give me the TMD and help rule the world. Is this a world you want to be a part of, Renko? Look around you. Look at all the suffering this man has caused. No visionary leader is without his critics. Renko, he is not a leader. He's a mass murderer, a dictator. You must stop him. At all costs. Use the TMD on the singularity. Travel back in time and kill yourself. <laughs> well, that certainly sounds like an attractive offer. Or 
You can prove your loyalty to me by killing Beresov. And I will grant you unlimited power. Make your choice, Captain. Alright, so I'm gonna pause here a little bit. The, because... Uh, if you guys uh, were a little smarter and knew me, you would maybe have figured out the, by episode 1 why was I was into that and the, you do remember that he was screaming there and there was a reason why I didn't uh, put subtitles on there because it would have ruined the, the, the twist so I didn't do it the, but I did also say something huh? what? I don't know who that guy was, but uh, oof, that 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 is some bad luck. Seemed like a smart guy though. A clever man. Someone who is the perfection himself. Yeah, I, I was a prick like that. Anyway, there are different endings here depending on who you shoot, the or what to do. So we're gonna, I'm gonna show you the typical game ending that uh, because. Yeah, we don't know which one is uh, canon, but I'm gonna do the ending that I think is uh, canon, which is uh, well. First, we're gonna shoot Demishev. My God, he's dead, Captain. You just killed the most powerful man in the world. But this changes nothing. To correct history, you must go back in time and stop yourself from saving Demishev in the burning building. All right, so I just wanted to put some few holes in him because uh, he deserves it. Anyway, let's go back and uh, kill ourselves. Although how we can make it so that we return to that time and that place too, I have no idea. And uh, well, here we go. I'm done impossible. I killed myself. Uh, whoa. Hammer two one, red fleet actual. You are now entering Katorga twelve airspace. Roger that, red fleet. Continuing on this vector. ETA to target three minutes. I don't know why they keep making us do this run. Not like we ever see anything. Everything looks normal. Military intelligence. What a joke! Yeah, I know. Hammer two one, maintain present speed and heading. Copy that, red fleet. Very soft. Never get tired of seeing that. Hammer two one, hammer two one. Very soft. the true villain all along. Beresov! And that, the ladies and gentlemen, has been Singularity. Although I, I have no idea why there isn't any music going on here. But uh, the credits are usually a place where I... Uh, Gave my thoughts about the let's play and the game and uh, such thing. So first off, I like this game. This game is a little bit of the typical uh, for SBS thing with a little bit time thing on it, but it's still fun to play. The play has some fun mechanics and fun weapons, including the seeker, which lets you actually control the bullet, which is yeah. That, that's awesome! Whew! Well, and uh, overall, the uh, let's play has been fun to do, and uh, it's been a little bit, little bit of a pain to uh, edit, but uh, I still had some fun 
uh, doing the subtitles. Especially when I decided to add like different fronts and this stuff uh, depending on what's happening. Yeah, I decided to try that idea out and uh, hopefully you guys uh, liked uh, the, what I did there with the normal conversation having like one font and the, the radio conversation have like italics uh, and such thing. But yeah, again, I hope that you guys uh, liked uh, what I did uh, that there. And as for uh, future stuff, well, I have the two games in mind. One of the games is uh, I or three games. So either it's either I'm going to do Halo Reach or Halo Two, probably leaning more again more to uh, do uh, Halo Reach because that's a that's actually one of the uh, more fun Halo games uh, in the franchise and the, that is like a game that I really enjoy. The second game, uh, I'm gonna exclude Halo 2 in, uh, from this because Halo Reach is probably the one that I'm gonna do. The other game would be Deus Ex Mankind Divided. The, but that feels like a game that I should wait a little bit more on because uh, I might need to replay it uh, by myself first before I start recording it. Just so I can remind myself uh, what to do and how I do things and you know all of that. So yeah, those are two games that I'm thinking of doing. I might uh, come up with some other games if I take a look at my shelf full of games or my Steam library or something. But yeah, that's, uh, that's everything I have to say. So, this has been Let's Play yeah, Singularity. I hope that you guys had a uh, good time watching through this. Have a good day, night, evening, whatever it is in your time zone. And I will see you in my next LP. Have a good one. Oh, and uh, the, the before. Oh, and... Uh, Oh, and uh, before I uh, end off, I am going to show you the two other endings that can happen in this game. Uh, I won't put any commentary over it, but uh, uh, yeah, there's two different, two additional endings to, uh, here. So yeah, after I finish talking, I will show them off. So once again, hope you guys have a terrific time, and I'll see you in the next LP. See you around. Well done, Captain Renko. I see you have what it takes to rule the world. Chancellor Demichev is the only survivor of Katorga 12. 
Any mention of Barasov is wiped from history. With the TMD at your disposal, you and Demichev now control the Singularity. Katorga 12 becomes pivotal in Demichev's final push to remove all remnants of rebellion against his leadership. As commander of the military, you forge Demichev's forces into an unstoppable war machine. You even train some of the island's creatures in combat. You use them as a first wave assault in all major battles. Millions are forced into slave labor. With the full power of the Singularity and you at the helm of the military, any pockets of resistance around the world are weeded out. Mir-12 proves difficult at first, but with the TMD by your side, they do not stand a chance. In the years that follow, tensions build within the ruling Russian dictatorship. Your knowledge of advanced weaponry and control of the TMD allows your support to grow. Some believe you are more powerful than Chancellor Demichev himself. Demichev recognizes this and begins a secret weapons development program in the former United States. There are even rumors he's created his own TMD. Conflict seems inevitable as the world once again finds itself in the midst of a cold war between two superpowers. Make your choice, Captain. No, Captain! With Dr. Barasov and Chancellor Demichev dead, the knowledge of E-99 and Katorka-12 dies with them. You disappear and become a legend in the years to come. Most believe you never existed in the first place. The whereabouts of the TMD are unknown. Weeks pass before the bodies of Demichev and Barasov are discovered. The murders are never solved. The death of Chancellor Demichev was the first step in ending Russia's grip on the world. The USSR quickly dissolves into feuding factions all vying for power. Wars erupt across the globe as casualties rise into the millions. With their newfound freedom, Mir-12 grows in strength and influence. While they continue their fight against the Russian military, they also begin a manhunt for Dr. Barasov's murderer. To this day, they have been unsuccessful. With the TMD removed from Katorga 12, the Singularity destabilizes. A massive explosion destroys the eastern coast of Russia and stretches as far as the prison state of Alaska. A group of Katorga 12 creatures escapes to the Russian mainland and overruns New China. There are rumors of a secret army taking over parts of the former United States. Their leader remains a mystery, but is said to be ruthless, laying waste to all who stand in his way. It is believed his plans involve world domination. His following grows every day. Some claim he is able to summon incredible power, as if he controlled the hand of God himself.